hello lovely people welcome to my youtube channel i have good news guys your girl is going back to school like i'm going back to school again okay <laughs> Back to school. You want to do more school, Pada? Why? Want to do more school? Guys, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going back to school, and I don't know if you can tell from these uh, these clips we are looking at now that we are excited for this new journey. And it's like my husband is the most excited because this has been his dream. He wants me to like have a PhD, like. See him Whoa. going all out for me, getting the perfect hangu for my pictures, guys. He's super proud of me at this point. Like, he's super proud of me. He said, even after this, I'm going back for my PhD. Like, he always wanted me to have my master's and my PhD, but I'm not, <laughs> I've not been so serious about it. But he, he succeeded in, in encouraging me to go back to school. And here I am going back to school and I'm super excited for this new journey, guys. Yeah! Wow, 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 wow. So guys, we came to school on this day to, you know, to get my admission later. And here we are going back home. And <laughs> we're just discussing in the car about all the past experiences about my... The times that I've tried to go back to school. Guys, by the way, if you're wondering that my voice sound like weird i'm making this voiceover on easter monday and we just came back from easter retreat and you know i lost my voice from singing and you know all the activities of the easter camp okay so guys that's why my voice sounds you no know, raspy or husky kind of okay so this is my beautiful school look at my school like it's so beautiful guys i'm so excited for this new journey i just thought of coming up here you know to to tell my beautiful people out there of my new journey of the new thing that i'm embarking on because i'm going to be bringing school content to you guys very soon okay you're going to be seeing school content back to back because there are so many exciting things coming up i'll be doing my project which i'm going to be carrying you guys along as well okay so this is me you know just feeling myself and feeling happy for this new journey guys okay we're back home now we just came back, we just got back home now, not quite long ago. And I said, Let me come and end this vlog and give you a little gist and a little, like a little gist, shall okay? So, like you saw in the previous clips, your girl is going back to school after 10 whole years of graduating from the university. Ah, uh, hmm. actually, I finished my NYSC in 2014, so since then. Yeah, I got married in 2015 and then I started having kids. So now it's just go back to school. Actually, I tried going back to school. I tried doing my master's when I was pregnant with Emanuela, but that pregnancy was a very tough one on me. I couldn't I couldn't keep up. I couldn't keep up. I had to quit back then. <laughs> that was how I became a dropout. <laughs> I was pregnant and hmm, it was not easy. Coupled with the fact that the school I went to, University of Ibadan. Hmm, that school is a very stressful one. No? If I'm not ready to go to school every day of the week, even as a postgraduate student, as a master's student, as a PhD student, they don't take things lightly here, okay? So I couldn't keep up with the lectures, with everything. I was so sick. The pregnancy was a very tough one on me. And then coupled with the fact that they did not give me the desired course that I wanted to do, so I had to, I had to quit, okay? So this is me now going back later 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 on and i'm so glad because i was able to get the desired course that i wanted to study like i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm so happy yeah so guys yeah back to school expect school content now okay yeah so that's just it so let me give you a little backstory about my academic life yeah when i finished from the secondary school i went to the polytechnic I did my OND and my HND. I know if you are not a Nigerian and you are watching this, you may not understand what OND and HND is. 
There is a school we call Polytechnics in Nigeria. That is where you obtain the diploma called OND and HND. It takes four years before you can obtain your HND, two years for OND, two years for HND. So I did that at first and then I served, I did NYSC. So along the line, I also went to the university. <laughs> I did another degree. For my OND and HND, I did animal health and production technology. Then for my degree, university degree, I did agricultural science and education. So after my NYSC, I got married, started having kids. It was not easy for me to go back to school, but I, even though I tried, but because of they didn't give me the desired course and then the pregnancy palaver, I had to quit, okay? But now I think I'm done with having kids for now. The kids are grown a little bit. They are not like babies, babies anymore. So I should be able to concentrate now, okay? And then, yeah, that's just it, basically. I'm so happy I was able to get the desired course that I wanted, yeah. So the course I'm going to be studying now is animal physiology, animal physiology. Actually, animal physiology will be my own special area but the department is department of animal science okay but my own major area will be animal physiology okay basically it means the study of animals like to know everything about an animal everything that pertains to animals like the way they breathe the way they eat the way they reproduce the way they give birth the way they everything about them all the organs their tissues their cells you know I'm an animal lover, you know, that's that's what I've been doing since, like, that's my special area. If you don't know, I'm an animal production technologist, I'm an agriculturist, and I'm also a trained teacher, okay? So, but I love animals, I love animals so much. I love animals, like, study of animals so, so much. So I'm so glad I was able to get that desired curse, okay? So guys, this is how I'm going to be drawing the curtains. How many curtains I want to draw? This is where I'm going to be drawing the curtain on this particular video. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Give this video a thumbs up and let me see your thoughts, your comments in the comment section down below. I'm going to catch you in my next one. Bye-bye. When we have the ovulated wave like this, that is the way we look at the vaginal electrical resistance. It's basically a device in which it is introduced into the very vagina of the female towards the ovary. Now, the group also works.